Chess.com's beta users are a critical part of our website as we continue to fly this 747 while also trying to make repairs, make the plane go faster, and make sure we serve you drinks in your, in your aisle or row, wherever you may be sitting on this plane. Now, to join the Chess.com Beta Club, all you have to do is go into your profile, which is holding your mouse over your avatar, go into your settings, scroll down, the third option from the bottom is Beta. Once you're on that page, you can just click Join Beta. How is using beta helpful and what exactly are we supposed to do while using this code that hasn't quite hit production to be used by the mass majority of users yet? I'm going to show you that right now. As it relates to this particular video, we have new chess boards that we've been working very hard on that are very close to going live to all of our users. But before they start affecting our biggest and best events, moments for our streamers who may or may not be watching this video while you're live on a show, as well as everybody else, we have a chance to make sure we catch any issues before they go live. When I'm observing games, I'm looking at a beta chessboard now. This is our brand new chessboard. Looks the same, but the code that makes it move faster, quicker, and animate in slicker ways is new. Uh, whenever I find an issue, the key to reporting that issue Let's say I'm highlighting something and I don't like what I see. I go over to this question mark right here and click on report a bug. When reporting a bug, all you have to do is list your email, take a highlighted picture of the area of where the bug happened. Perhaps you can even draw an arrow of what it is that you don't like. Add a description of what you were doing when the bug happened as being as specific as possible is the best thing we can get and then send away so that chess.com's product team can review it and hopefully take action to fix it as soon as possible. So if you are a chess.com streamer, uh, any one of our partners, or simply a motivated power user who's love for, for finding bugs and need in an OCD way to make sure that our site is as clean and as snappy as possible. Either way, no matter where you are, we appreciate your time. And again, if you ever are using it and want to leave beta, let's say you find an issue that is critically affecting something you're trying to do, maybe a show or a stream, leaving beta is as simple as going back to your settings, which you can reach via your menu or chess.com slash settings, go back to the beta option and simply choose to leave beta. Once you've left beta, you are back to using what we deem at this time to be our highest quality code and the code that the mass majority of our users are using. No matter where you find a bug though, please remember that this little question mark is your key to having a direct opinion to chess.com's product managers. You can make suggestions from here, but most critically report bugs if and when you find them, especially when using our beta services. Thank you again for all uh, those watching this video for helping us help you, you helping us help you help each other. I don't even know what it means, but thanks to our beta users, and hopefully I'll see you around on chess.com.